They carry about 95 anti-air and land attack missiles. They have an unmatched capability to defend themselves. 350 sailors aboard two helicopters on most of the ships in the class. And they've been used most recently over the last 48 hours in the Red Sea and the Eastern Mediterranean, knocking down the uh, Iranian air attack and doing so quite effectively. Right. What's important here, and, you know, folks, we got an idea of a 19-year-old on the deck of an aircraft carrier. Yep. I think it's something we all understand from yep. Vietnam forward. Max Hastings grabs that beautifully in his book on Vietnam. Admiral Stravitas, do you have like a 19-year-old kid handling a Philance close-in weapon system, CIWS, for point defense against drones from Iran? Absolutely. Um, there'll be somebody, maybe 20, 25 at the oh. most, sitting in the combat information center with his or her finger on the button for that uh, sea whiz system, as we call it. It's a Gatling gun that fires uranium projectiles. Um, if any of the missiles get through the air defenses, right. the longer range ones, we use those close in. But the whole ship is manned by very young people. When I was captain of the ship, I was 37 years old. Wow. It, the, the, this, folks, is just so yep. important. And I got to get one more question here because Paul's looking at me like, when do I get to talk? <laughs> and and Amos Stavidis, just where are we in our Navy development? We've got this whole thing that we've stopped there, shipbuilding. But I don't mean the Gerald Ford and the ginormous platform. How many more Berries and Burks do we develop? We're going to be bringing out a new class, uh, USS Constellation class, frigate that's almost as big as these guided missile destroyers. First one is uh, uh, having her keel laid this week, as a matter of fact. So the follow-on classes, frankly, will be even better than these early Burks, and they're pretty damn good. <laughs> Admiral, it's been a busy week in that part of the world over there with the uh, Iranian uh, response and, and shelling of Israel. Put it into context of how at risk are our ships and our men and women in that part of the world? And how do we protect them better, perhaps? They can absolutely defend themselves in any scenario. But um, there's always a possibility of a missile slipping through, of a, a mistake being made in a radar, uh, bad intelligence has you looking in the opposite direction. Uh, these kind of incidents can happen. So thus far, none of our ships, our warships, have been struck by Iranian or Houthi ballistic missiles or drones, but um, the sailors there absolutely have to stay on their toes to execute their mission, not only defending themselves, but defending our allies in the region like Israel. Admiral, what do you expect from Israel over the coming days and weeks here? Um, it's, it just feels like we've kind of gotten into this stalemate type of situation in that part of the world. The Israelis have said they will respond to this 350 drone ballistic missile, cruise missile attack. Fortunately, the air defenses we're discussing uh, destroyed it, knocked down 350 of them, essentially. Uh, but Israel will respond. However, Paul, I don't think it'll be a massive uh, jets whistling above Tehran kind of response. I think it'll right. include offensive cyber, maritime operations, special operations. Don't look for a big escalation at this point. One more question there, but we're only doing this because we want you to come back on the show. I noticed that the <laughs> USS Barry was named two years ago the Navy's top Pacific Fleet sub hunter. Bring that over to the Hormuz Strait. How much risk do we have of Iran without our technology like the USS Barry shutting down the Hormuz Strait? Iran could shut it down, Tom, with mines, putting mines in the water. That's why our mine sweepers are stationed over there. Our allies have mine sweeping capability. And then finally, the Iranians also have diesel submarines, quite quiet, wow. quite capable. But a ship like USS Barry should be able to handle that threat as well. Watch the mine sweeping. That would be the way they would close the strait.